evening good morning everybody welcome so much to our mindset monday session just to start the week right and i was thinking the other day and i'm sure we can all agree how 2020 started right uh it started with a bang the market was hot the COVID introduced tons of, of strategy and fear uncertainty and then pretty much brought real estate to a standstill you remember that then then a few months later things opened back up and have been rocketing full speed ahead ever since. Well, simply put, it's been a very stressful period for a lot of the uh, real estate agents everywhere. And, and today, I basically just wanted to check in and make sure that you guys are doing okay. You see, I'm not a medical professional, uh, I'm not a doctor, but I honestly care about your well-being and, and, and the same way feels all of our staffs and brokers. So let's just jump into uh, four ways that you can actually maximize your productivity while at the same time maintaining, maintaining some sanity and eliminating stress and at the same time avoiding burnout. Don't you all agree this is exactly what we need now more than ever? But to jump into it, into that, let's first start with, let's talk a little bit about our routines. How are your routines? See, if you let it, this business uh, we'll pull you in a we'll pull you in a million different directions all at once. So what's the solution for that? You guessed it right. Routines. Even if if challenges are popping up uh, left and right, routines. Believe it or not, will keep you on track by telling you what to do and when to do it. With the right discipline to stick to to your routines, the most important aspects of your business will never get ignored. If you have any problems with discipline and how to apply certain things, we can help you with that. And if you stay all the way to the end, you're gonna learn a little bit more how we can help. But ultimately, routines will put you back in control. And in this business, you wanna be able to control as much as you can. And, and for that, you need to control what you can control. And routine is one of them. If you're feeling frazzled, if you're lacking some structure in your business, you guessed it right. You got to check your routines. And even if you haven't established any routines, it's time to take a step back and do so. And again, this is something that we can help you with that as well. Now, the next one in our four uh, ways that you can increase productivity and elim uh, eliminating some stress is self-care. And the question is, are you taking your meds daily? Now, I can't take credit for this. I learned this from Tom Ferry. Uh, the acronym of MEDS. It's, a, it's an easy way to remember four essential components of daily life, which is meditation, exercise, diet, and sleep, MEDS. So if you're not doing these things consistently and, and, and healthfully, it's time to start doing it. And let's break that down for a minute. Let's talk about meditation for a second. You see, everybody needs some time to, to decompress, to look inward, to breathe deeply, recharge your battery. So whether or not you engage into meditation, that's up to you. But I highly suggest that you get aside some, some time to clear your mind on a daily basis. The next one will be exercise, right? Uh, um, it's very important to exercise. If you're a morning person, I suggest that, that you include a part of your routines will be to exercise in the mornings. If you're a night person, after you get out of work, you can probably do some exercises. But if you're not a gym person at all, you got to find something to do. Yeah, you get your body moving on a regular basis. How about diet? When when you we have a schedule the way we have it, like very busy and, and time gets scarce, it's it's very easy to neglect eating correctly or eating the right thing. So don't let yourself lean on on the on flimsy diet. Sometimes we work so hard and and lunchtime come around and we're gonna go out and we're gonna find the juiciest burger, the cheesiest burger we can find. You see, that's not healthy. So put in a little more effort and make eating a right priority for you. How about sleep? Working long hours and late nights will, will lead directly to not getting enough sleep. So make sure your body is getting the rest it requires to keep you at your best. So how about taking days off? That's the next point in our four ways of increasing priority this morning. How about taking days off? If I ask you to look at your calendar right now, Will I see a one full day off every single week? If not, there's something to think about. If you're working 24-7 and never, and never giving yourself time off, you're, you're really heading to a dark place, and we want to avoid that. 
to maintain your energy and maximizing your productivity, we have to make sure that we're taking at least one day off every single week, disconnecting completely from your phone, your emails, work at all. So you also need schedule a vacation or two. That's really important to keep at your best. Get away from business and, and do something that, that you actually love and enjoy doing. You'll definitely be a lot better uh, for in the long run. So the next one is to get help when you need it. So after taking some time off and you feel that like you have recharged your battery, you should feel better. You, you should feel rejuvenated and, and excited about getting back to business again. I don't know if that ever happened to you. you. You get a weekend off or you get a week off. And when you come back, you man, you can't wait to get back into business and calling those sellers, calling those buyers, uh, get back into your transactions. So if you're doing the things I've talked about before, you're going to feel that way, which is relying on your routines, um, uh, getting exercise, eating right and sleeping well, taking time off, getting away from your business. If you're still not clicking, if you implement all this and you're still not clicking into high gear, you, your, your issue may be beyond burnout. It might be into depression. So if that sounds kind of like a possibility, don't keep it bottled up inside. You know, uh, we've been through a lot. So don't, don't carry that stress further if you don't need to. Okay, don't, don't, don't carry more that you can handle. Talk to someone. So seek out therapy or appropriate mental health assistance. You can always text me if you want. My phone number is 305-873-4406. That's my personal number. You can call me and we can talk. I love to chat. So the idea is this. We only have, what, like three months left into this year. So we want to end this year strong. And we want to start 2022 even stronger. But for that, we need to be okay here and here. So that's Mindset Monday for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. That's a, a brief message I wanted to share with you just because of that. We want to end this year strong. And for that, you can reach out to me. You can reach out to Armando or staff, anybody in Broker Nation Real Estate. We're here to help you succeed for the remaining of this year and start your year strong for 2022. All right, if you have any questions, concerns, uh, comments, feel free to reach out to us. Put it in the chat, shoot us an email, or you can join us on the next training, which is on this Friday. So I wanted to especially invite you to this training on Friday for Real Estate Friday. Because uh, Ray Agle, our, our, um, our manager here at the Doral office, he's putting some uh, a special presentation for all of you. And it has to do with uh, pictures and, and photos and videos. You see, when, when we look at the MLS, what are we seeing? How are we selling through pictures and walkthrough videos and all that stuff? So the right marketing helps a lot when you're actually uh, putting stuff in the MLS. So he's gonna, he has a really amazing presentation there, which I want to invite you to all to attend. And Steve, if they want to register, where do they go? www.brokernation.events. I'm about to put it in the chat now. Uh, remember, it's .events instead of .com at the end. So just brokernation.events. I always post the latest and greatest um, upcoming events to, on our event calendar there. And speaking of that, um, Daylon, I just got word just a half hour ago about our next monthly meeting, and it's going to be Wednesday the 29th. It's going to be a week from this Wednesday. So I'm going to post that there too. Make sure you go and register that. Um, Daylon, uh, if you're not a Broker Nation agent, um, are you invited to our monthly meeting? Yes, please. What a better way to learn about Broker Nation if not uh, joining us when we do this trainings and we do this gathering for all of our broken nation agents. He last, last month when we had this training, was it, it was amazing, right, Steve? We talked about very important points, a lot of concerns and issues that a lot of our agents have and, and are experimenting right now. So we were able to discuss it and, and come up with ideas and solutions for that. And aside from that, we also, you know, encourage uh, the agents to continue striving for more and, and going after success, but most importantly, how to feel, good about what's going on around us right now how to deal with this current market and on top of that we always give uh, in, uh incentive and awards to those agents that they're striving in today's market so it was really interesting last time uh, we have a lot more to share with you for this uh for for the 29th uh, which is next wednesday 
So register, make sure you can attend. If you're a part of the Broken Nation, if you're not, we'll love to see you and talk to you as well. And if you want to learn more about the company, you can go to joinbrokernation.net. That is joinbrokernation.net. I see Steve just put in the chat. So thank you so much. Um, stay tuned. We have more trainings coming up. Register for all the trainings that we have. And if, if anything, it's a great networking. We would love your participation. So you're always welcome to share any issues that you may have, any uh, problems with our transactions and, and throughout trainings like this or, or networking like this, we can always, you know, come up with a solution or give you some ideas that will help you with that. All right. Anything else? Say hi to Marta Lorenzo too. Hi, Marta. Thanks for joining us. We don't see you on here often, but uh, it's an honor to have you. Absolutely. Welcome, Marta. Okay. And I ask everyone to unmute and, uh, Morning. I'm put, Morning. and I'm going to put it on the, um, the gallery view and just, uh, tell everyone goodbye and, uh, have a great week. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Have a great week. All right. See you later, everybody. And like Harold said, make, make it a, a stressless week. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a great week. Bye, Maritza. Bye, Bye, Steve. Bye, Bye Esther. Steve. Good to see Bye, you. Bye, Maritza. Bye, Dylan. Bye, Esther. Take bye -bye. care, everybody.